edge. Clearly in that video, I was on the edge. He was a lot more apologetic, I guess. Was I like, did I react on emotion? Yes. Like, today is our anniversary. <laughs> our happy one year, baby. I really was trying to hold on. I really was trying to make it through. You know, my issue is those jokes. I don't like them. It's very disrespectful. He's like I said, he's on this other level where like he has hardcore stance no matter what he does. He could, you know, he could do anything and people are going to just like love him because he's at that level. And I, and I, I don't think David's horrible. It's not me. I'm not a, you know, we all band together. We look out for each other. We support each other. And then squad mentality can be bad if protecting the wrong people or whatever. But anyways, it's not about that. I do apologize for is, um, well, I apologize for calling Jason creepy. Um, I was hurt. I was really hurt. I would have liked to apologize to his, his ex who we've never met each other. So for me to be like, she doesn't like me. Like, I don't know. She's never met me. You know, I apologize to David for <laughs> comparing him to dead Bundy. And everything else, I mean, I, I stick to what I say. I have this amazing Valentine's Day love song that I was so excited to put out with my boyfriend. Like, I don't want to put it out now because we're just in such a what's going on with us mode. It's not, we're not lovey-dovey right now, you know what I mean? Cause I always think him not standing up for me or him making these jokes. It's like, you know, it's, it just adds to the insecurity. Um, um, I do know Jason is a good guy. Like I spoke on emotion and was like, he's creepy and stuff. I know he's a good guy. I, I don't even know if David and I were really friends. I, I really did enjoy him. I, and I thought he was funny. But the issue was for me personally with David posting that, I don't regret it. I, I mean, it was, actually to be honest, I kind of regret it a little bit.